Hi everyone, how are you holding up? How are you doing today? I hope your day is going well. Welcome to my tutorial for today. I'm still your friend, the woman. If you are new, you are highly welcome. Please subscribe before leaving and also tap on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So today we are going to be doing something very quick. It ought to be less than 10 minutes, okay? So I have here three and a half yards of this white fabric and we're going to be making a butterfly boo-boo dress, okay? And the length I'm working with is 59 inches. That's why I'm using three and a half. But if your length happens to be more than 59 inches, like you are my height, you will be needing more than three and a half yards of fabric, okay? Now, in the course of the tutorial, I'll be talking about shoulder, and the shoulder will be longer than usual. I remember making one boo-boo a long time ago, and then people were asking me, where is my shoulder that wide? When I say shoulder, when I, I want to make boo-boo dress, it means the sleeve inclusive. That is, where the length of your sleeve ends, from this side, across your back, and then towards this side. That's what I mean by shoulder. Okay, so quickly we'll get started. I'll be folding my fabric with that shoulder measurement. And the shoulder I'm working with is 40 inches. When unfold, 20 inches. I hope I didn't confuse you people. Thank you once again for keeping me here. I really appreciate and love all of you. So quickly, let's get to the cutting table. Okay, so I'm cutting the back first of all. And I'll be putting zip at the back. All right. I have here one inch I marked out for that for uh, the zip sorry for the one putting my camera i don't know because of the white fabric it's not being clear so i tried to place the camera at a place where it can be clearer but i know you will still understand it so this here is the zipper allowance like i said i'm cutting the back first of all so next thing i'll do will be to take my normal shoulder measurement and the sleeve like I said the shoulder I'm working with is 20 inches I'll add one more inch for food so I'll measure 21 inches okay and this is 21 inches here okay this is 8 inches my normal shoulder okay this is 3 inches for shoulder slope and then on my normal shoulder, one inch for shoulder slope. I'll connect this to this. Okay. And then here, which is the other shoulder, that is the sleeve inclusive. I will take two inches. Now, having done that, having done that, the length I'm working with is the full length, okay? So, I won't be taking any measurements this way because when I folded it, it gave me exactly the length I wanted with folding allowance included. I hope it's clear enough. All right. Okay, so now I have the bust line the waistline, the hip line, and about 7 inches below the hip line. I hope you can see these markings. Okay, so the first one is the bust line. I added 2 inches to the bust I'm working with. I added 2 inches to the waist I'm working with. I added 2 inches to the hip I'm working with before I divided them into 4. Okay? So now, on the four, uh, seven inches below the hip line, I'm going to mark my hip divided into four. The hip I'm working with, 42, divided into four will give us 10.5. This is 10.5 here. I will add my sewing allowance 
I'll use three inches as my sewing allowance. Okay, it's actually all. Next thing I will do will be to trace from here, give you the shape, the butterfly shape I want from here to meet this point. And then I will take this very measurement down to the hemline. We have 14 inches. I take it down to the hemline. So this is the excess that will be taking off. Okay. I hope you now see it. So I'm cutting this way. You can actually even make a butterfly. I hope you get that. If you don't want it just curved straight this way, you can make a butterfly wing on it. Okay? So I will cut this one first of all. Remember this is the back. next thing I will do will be to just put the neck. So I'll be using a neck width of 4 inches. Remember this is the back. Ne depth of 2 inches. I'll now use this to cut the front okay so this is the front the only difference is the neck volume okay the other that of the back is to the front is five all right so having done that and i will also be putting this at the center of the front all right now having done that i will have to cut the facing for the back and the front left line so this is for the back Going to be making it double, okay. So I'll cut another one for the lining of this facing. Okay, I 
can also cut the same process I used for this. I'll use it to cut facing for the front. Okay. So this is the front. Also, this is the facing. Okay. I, I attached at the right side. Okay. So I will then notch this point. Push it this way and sew on top of it to give us something like this. I hope you see it. So the next thing I'll do will be to close the back. Remember we are putting Z. So I'll close the back, leave my slit and attach the zipper. Okay. I'll leave space for zip here, close between the zip and the slit. And like I said, it's going to have a slit at the lower part. Okay, so I've attached the zip. I also joined them at the two shoulders. Okay, so the next thing to be done will be now to fold the sleeve side okay so starting from this curvy point I'll start to fold it to the other side of the curvy point that is to the back assuming I'm starting from the front I have to walk through to the back okay to give us something like this I hope you see it I've already folded this side okay so i'll complete it fold the hemline as well okay now having folded the hemline the next thing will be to join them at the two sides at the lower side remember we had a measurement in the front we divided our hip by four at this lower part so that is what you are going to use to close it Okay, from that seven inches below the hip line, which is here, you measure that your hip divided by four. That is one quarter of your hip. Okay, that is what we have here. So I'm going to sew from here down to the hem line. I'll do the same thing at the other side. Okay, when I finish that, I will notch here. Okay, so when I sew it, I notch here so that this one can freely open. Okay, so I've done the joining at the lower part. Like I said, I hope you see this is seven inches below the hip line. That's the line here. Okay, so my stitching stopped there and then went this way just to close this butterfly sleeve. Okay, and then I gave it. A good notch I hope you see it okay so the next and last thing will be to turn it to the right side okay I've also neatly folded it back into one quarter of our body measurement so now for my armhole For my armhole, I will decide how many inches I would love to use. For this, I think I will use 11 inches. I'm taking it easy with the marking because this is the right side. So this is 11 inches. Next will be to now place the bust measurement. Now the bust line I'm working with is 12 inches. So this is 12 inches here. Okay. I'll then place the bust I'm working with. If, remember I said I added two, two inches to the bust, the waist and the hip, okay. Bust 40 into four is 10. This is 10. 
and then we go to the waistline waist 34 into 4 is 8.5 And then hip ten point five. Okay, so I'll carefully join this to the waist and then to the hip and then end it here. I hope this is well understood so now what it means is that i'm sewing at the right side please since this is a butterfly booboo i will sew from this point through the waist and i'll end it here at this place that i already notched through the other side okay and i'll do the same at the other side and that will be all okay so i've done the joining and we've actually come to the end of the tutorial i'm going to give it a very good press and try it on miss headless thank you very much for your time if you are yet to subscribe please do so before leaving and to my existing subscribers i love all of you please leave your requests coming in for people asking how they can leave your request send it to me through whatsapp and please i don't like receiving forwarded messages the whatsapp number is purely for dressmaking purposes till we meet in my next tutorial i love you from the bottom of my heart and bye